Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a video with you guys that's a little sporadic. Um, I was very, very busy and needing to pack for Disney and I had a very short time to do it. So I wanted to just share that with you guys, but I wanted to give this disclaimer because I'm a little bit of a hot mess in this video. Hair's not fixed, face isn't washed, and I'm kind of out of breath running back and forth. But I wanted to include it for you guys because I wanted to give you guys a good idea of what you need to pack when you go to Disney okay, this year. So I know the kitchen is messy, but we are taking this, which is a stroller fan. It's supposed to get in the 70s, so it might not be super hot, but it might be pretty warm for Rex and his stroller. Rex is five, but we're definitely still taking a stroller because guys, it is so much walking. And I know his little legs are gonna get tired and we are not going to carry him because that will break our back. So we are definitely taking a stroller. Um, so we've got this stroller fan. It just clips onto the visor of his stroller and he can angle it any way he needs it. It's got a few different settings right here on the back. So you can turn it on and then it tells you like you can increase so it's rechargeable, so I'm going to um, get it all charged up and ready to go before we leave. And then I'm also taking the charger with us in case we need it. All right, so I got my face washed off. <laughs> so I don't have sunglasses on anymore, but I wanted to show you guys what we're packing for Disney. Um, Rex is packing his Forky shirt that says, I made a new friend. And he's going to wear that probably with his Looney Tune shorts. Okay, so something that um, you have to think about when you're going to Disney or any kind of, you know, vacation spot early on in March is you might not fit in your shorts from last year. So Rex has a few that he can still fit into. I don't. <laughs> but uh, he's going to wear this Walt Disney shirt that's pretty retro. I like that. Got him some more shorts. This Walt Disney shirt. I feel like if you're going to Walt Disney World, you definitely need to wear Disney shirts. You don't have to, but I recommend it. It just enhances the magic. I just love to feel like Disney. Um, speaking of magic, Rex has this shirt that says, I believe in magic, and has a picture of the castle there. And I've got him another pair of shorts and a pair of jeans because it is going to be 70s, but it's going to get down to the 50s. So he might have some cold days. I'm going to also pack him maybe a couple of hoodies. Definitely pack rain jackets. Always pack rain jackets to Disney. We keep them in the bottom of our stroller on most days, but you can normally keep track of the weather pretty good. Okay. Definitely packing my ears. I have a few of these. I'm not sure which ones I'm packing, but definitely packing those. For me, since none of my shorts fit, I am wearing skirts um, because most of my skirts are elastic in the waistband. But I've got this mini shirt that I think is super cute. I don't even know if I've ever worn it to Disney, but I'll probably wear it with this navy maxi skirt. I've got my tie-dye Mickey shirt, and I've got a right midi skirt to wear with it. I've got this shirt which has chip on it, and it says, be yourself, chip and all. Um, I don't wanna unfold everything, sorry. And I've got this skirt to go with it. I'm also gonna pack jeans in case I just wanna wear jeans instead. Um, I also have this dress. If you have watched any of our past Disney videos, you may have seen me wear this dress. I love wearing it to Disney, cause it's very Minnie Mouse, as you can see from the shirt I'm wearing now, but it's not even a, like a Disney dress. I got it from Nisi's dresses and I was like, wow, it's perfect for Disney, I gotta wear it. So if you're going to wear skirts or dresses to Disney, get a slip like this. It's gonna make it a lot more comfortable for you. It's basically like biker shirts under your dress or skirt. Um, also gonna take swimsuits, cause it's gonna be nice. This is the mattress topper to go on the hotel bed. Because not all beds are very comfy at the hotels, so. We decided to just get a mattress topper and it's a lot, lot better. Um, my pajamas are Eeyore. So I'm packing, like I try to make everything as Disney theme as I can. So, ooh. Um, undershirts. I wear a sh like a cami 
or a thin tank top under everything I wear all the time, but especially on vacation because that way if you start to sweat, you're not going to see it on your shirt. It's going to get on the undershirt and not on the outer shirt. It really doesn't seem to be any hotter to me. I do it all the time though, so I'm used to it. We are definitely packing some shoes for the pool. I think Rex is gonna take the Star Wars slides. They might be too big for him, so I'll have him try those on. And then of course, he's got tennis shoes for walking. I've got me tennis shoes for walking. Um, we're probably going to also pack flip flops for us for the pool, but also going to pack um, backup tennis shoes because if it rains on us and our shoes get wet, I want backup shoes. But also, I use the hair dryer in the hotel room to dry off shoes when they get wet. So. Ariel from the Little Mermaid. Um, it actually has a bigger bag that goes over it, but I always just use this one. And I actually keep all of my makeup in this all of the time. But I think that's really cute to take to Disney. Okay, so I finally got my makeup on. I've got a load of laundry in the dryer. I wanted to show you guys real quick some of the snacks that we're packing. I love these. These are great for the road um, and they're also great for the hotel. So in the morning, I'll grab a pack of these while we're headed to the park. That's my breakfast. Got some Mickey Mouse Go Fish for Rex. And what kind of road trip would it be? You didn't bring a Slim Jim. Um, we're also going to pack fruit for Rex. Strawberries, blueberries, probably um, some fruit cups like peaches or orange. Packing some pouches. We get the pouches that have some veggies in them since Rex isn't a big veggie eater. So we are also making sure that we are packing our sound machine. Um, especially for any hotel, I recommend taking a sound machine. That way, if people are walking around or in the pool, it drowns it out so you can sleep better. Um, something that is always a struggle is the last minute things. So make sure you make a list of all the last minute items. So for me, that's going to be my makeup removers, my hairbrush, my straightener. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some hair ties in, um, deodorant, chargers, all of your bathroom supplies. So if you can't tell, today has been crazy busy. Um, I still haven't even cleaned out the car yet to get it ready for the trip. And I need to do that soon. James is taking the dogs to his mom's tomorrow so that she can watch them while we're gone. And then I need to vacuum the car out after they come back and get it vacuumed really quick and load up and leave. So I need to clean the house, wash the dishes, finish the laundry. I'm gonna go turn the dryer on. I don't know about you guys, but I always have to turn the dryer on twice for our clothes to get washed or for our clothes to get dry. And we always wash really big loads. So that's probably why. Oh, another last minute thing to pack medicine so aside from your prescription i always recommend taking some ibuprofen and some pepto um we normally take pepto pills for in the park but we'll take the bottles to have with us um, in the hotel room you may also want to pack allergy medicine make sure you grab sunblock sunglasses and guys comment down below if you guys have any questions or any comments about anything else that we might want to pack um, we're taking tons of water bottles um, you can take food into the parks, so we're definitely taking um, Lunchables, Uncrustables, little things like that to pack into the park. So whenever we want to stop for a bite, we can without having to spend money on food. I know I'm talking really fast. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited to get this done. And it's so chaotic. And I have so much to do and so much to get ready for. But I cannot wait. Disney is like our favorite place in the world to be. We don't go anywhere else on vacation. We will go four or five times a year to Disney. That's where we want to be. It is an 11 hour trip for us down there, 11 hours back. So we are stopping in Georgia so that we can spend the night there and then we'll go the rest of the way on Thursday. Okay, so as we are leaving tomorrow, I am in the garage and I'm gonna clean out the car. I always like to grab two bags to clean out the car, one for trash and one for stuff that goes inside. I also need to change Rex's car seat. We like to put him in the five point harness whenever we're traveling because he's gonna fall asleep in the seat and we don't want his head to fall forward. So if you guys are new to my channel, I normally post cleaning videos um, on Wednesdays and Saturday mornings. 
Um, so Disney is just an extra part of my YouTube, but mainly it's cleaning. So I'm just going to share a little bit of cleaning up the kitchen before our trip because you don't want to come back from vacation to sink full of dirty dishes. You already have to unpack and do loads of laundry. You definitely don't want to have to add dishwashing on top of it. All right, so the car's cleaned out, the dishes are done. I'm just gonna clean out the sink real quick and that's another thing that's checked off my to-do list. All right, so the dishes are done, the laundry is done, so I'm gonna get started packing. Okay, so I've got everything just thrown in the suitcases, so now I'm gonna go through them and get them all packed up. James's shirts, um, best buds for him and Rex. Um, packing some shorts for James. Um, also Oswald the rabbit. This is hard to make out, but it's actually a stormtrooper mask or stormtrooper helmet. So I'm getting everything packed up right now. I like to just throw things in the suitcase as we need them. Um, and then I'll go back through, check them off the list, make sure we have everything we need. Now, since we are going to Georgia first, before we go all the way down to Orlando, we have a smaller suitcase for the one night stay in Georgia. Um, that way you don't have to bring your whole big suitcase in and go through everything there. So just pajamas and clothes for the next day in the small suitcase for Georgia and then everything else is going in the bigger socks. suitcase. I'm very particular on the socks I want to wear to Disney. I love the Bombas. Bombas are super. They're like very cushioned. Um, I don't know where all my Bombas are, but I gotta find all my Bombas. This is our suitcase for Georgia, and I have all of our clothes here. I just put James's uh, shorts in there, our socks for that day, and pajamas. So I just need to... Um, get another pair of pajamas for Rex just in case he has an accident and I need to get um, sleeping clothes for James and then this bag is ready to go. Also have more ears over there plus my backpack. Backpack has, um, I'll show you. Backpack has a jacket for Rex. It also has mask, some medicine down there, a hat in case Rex wants to wear his hat and some sunscreen. The fanny pack, I've got sunglasses for Rex, portable charger for the phones, and magic band, so we're good. All right, so I'm also packing um, costumes for Rex. Kids are allowed to wear costumes. I think the age cutoff might be 12 or 14. Um, check before you go. But he likes to dress up in costume when he goes. And if you guys have not seen our videos, please check out our Disney videos, our most recent ones. Um, Rex was really in character. He was just like a stormtrooper. He got to see the other stormtroopers and talk to them. And it was really cute. He was telling them where they can find some of the good guys because apparently Rex is on the Empire side. Um, but he's got stormtrooper costume and he has a Darth Vader costume. I need to go find the belt for the Darth Vader costume because it comes with a little voice box so you can talk like Darth Vader. But it's adorable. When we don't use the costumes, we just put them in the bottom of the stroller. It's another perk of having a stroller, aside from Rex not having to walk the entire time and us not having to carry him the entire time. It's so good for holding stuff because we take costumes, we take food. It's very nice to have a place for all of that. All right, found our theater's belt. So I'm gonna try to put these in the same suitcase as the mattress topper, just so we can limit the amount of suitcases we're taking. All right, so I grabbed um, some sanders for me for the pool. 
I grabbed some flip flops for James for the pool. I've got some slides that Rex needs to try on. And I also need to pack, oopsie. And I also need to pack backup tennis shoes. Um, they may not be needed, but it's definitely going to rain one of the days we're there, if not every day, it rains a lot. So um, we like to take backup tennis shoes just in case our shoes get wet. So I'm gonna let James pick out what backup tennis shoes he wants to pack because the shoes are very important when you're going to Disney, you are walking miles. So last time he wore really old shoes, didn't go well. Um, this time I'm wearing newer shoes. We're going to take a cooler for inside the parks. Um, normally keep a little ice pack in there to keep things cool. What we pack when we go into the parks is at least one water bottle for us or a juice bottle for Rex. Right now we're doing Lunchables and Uncrustables and things like that that we can keep in there. Um, just really good to be able to grab and snack on. Other snacks, raisins, crackers, goldfish, a lot of things for Rex. So I think we're almost ready. Uh, last minute things we need to do is we need to get ice for the cooler, which we'll get tomorrow when we're driving. All right, everything is packed up and ready. So everything is pretty much packed up except for food. Most of the food we'll have to wait until we get ice for the cooler tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all the snacks out so we don't forget anything like last time. We're packing lots of these juice bottles for Rex. They're tiny and can fit in our cooler great. We're also packing tons of yogurt for Rex, tons of Lunchables for us. Um, we're gonna do also a ton of a ton of gogurts and a ton of gogurts. They're great for the parks as well. We're also gonna take some Uncrustables for us. Um, Rex is allergic to peanut butter, so pretty much he eats yogurt and fruit. We're gonna take lots of fruit, and that reminds me, I'm gonna go ahead and get out something that we bought for a Disney trip ages ago, which is some diced peaches. I like that these are cupped and he can eat them while we're at the parks. So here is everything that does not go in the cooler. We've got some fruit cups for Rex, some pouches. There's 12 in a box, but he actually eats about six a day, two for every meal. Um, plus he'll probably want some for snacks. So we're taking three full boxes, a few boxes of raisins, some Teddy Grahams, Mickey Mouse goldfish, breakfast bars for us, Slim Jims for the and this fruit and that trail mix, that's James's for the road trip as well. But um, I am going to get this bag out. This bag will sit up front with me for the code foods for the road trip. So if Rex has any gogurts or juices that he wants, they will be in the bag right there. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab our Disney snack bag. It is pretty big, but how can you pass it up? It's very Mickey, so. I'm leaving these out for the road trip. Um, pack these because I already have some out for the road trip. And I think we already have some of these for the road trip. Some other stuff we're taking. Cute little Mickey container. This way, when he has crackers, they're not gonna get all broken up. They're in something hard. Same goes for this container too. It's just good to have these kind of containers that are hard that they're crackers going to break up. So. And I'm going to take one of these. Um, that way if he has some fruit, like some fresh fruit, if we got some strawberries or blueberries, he can put them in here and we can pack them in the cooler too. All right guys, I think that's it. I think we're packed and ready for Disney. I don't know how we did it because it was a last minute decision to go to Disney. We were trying to think of when we're going to go before all the spring breakers are there and before summer vacation. So we're like, let's go now. <laughs> and we want to go as much as we can right now because Rex is still not in school. And once he starts school, we're going to be on the same schedule as everybody else. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you're subscribed and that you comment down below and please be sure to give this video a thumbs up.